What's up, gents? We are here at Prestigious Pedal Boards. This hey, is Joe, where- how's it going, buddy? It's going well, man. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. Stoked to show your product. I haven't done a lot of these on my channel yet, but um, we kind of touched base and saw a bunch of really cool things online. So I wanted to make sure and go through the products. Let's see what you got. So Prestigious yeah. Pedal Boards, tell me a history on the company. My name's Glenn. This is my <laughs> partner, Randy. Hi, guys. <laughs> We're in the Prestigious Pedal Boards workshop right now um, in San Diego County. And uh, we're building what I think is the nicest pedal board out there. It's called Prestigious Pedal Boards. We took over a company called Boyce Box Pedal Boards. It's the board I used for gigging for many years. And um, yeah, so we took over the company, made some design changes, added some colors, and we're just having a lot of fun with it. Hey, so we want to go over the features on the prestigious pedal boards, uh, some of the things that make our product really unique. On our pedal boards, we have these really discreet in and out jacks. Uh, they're completely solderless and they're flush mount without any bulky or unsightly hardware on the outside. The very cool thing about having this versus just plugging into your pedals is you can have all your pedals pre-wired. When you get to the gig, you plug your guitar in here, you plug your amp in there, all your pedals are pre-wired. It makes setup really quick and easy. Um, we have a lighted rocker switch, which powers the pedal board. A lot of people like that feature. So if you're at a gig and you want to shut down your pedal board, you can just flip the switch off. You don't have to unplug it. We've got these corners on the board, keep everything together and secure and protected. We're going to show you how you access underneath the shelf area here where you mount the power supply and run all your cables. So we got these really, we call it a EQ access, easy quick access. So with just your fingers, no tools required, you can get into the bottom of your board super quick. And it'll also stand on its back edge. And as a gigging musician, I had so many times when I had a bad cable, something like that, and I know you gotta get in there and troubleshoot sometimes and you wanna do it quick. So let's look at the inside. We've got AC power coming into the board, the regular three prong outlet. You can see the rock solid attachment of the in and out jacks right there. This here is how you mount your power supply. We have screws right here. We got four of them. This plate would put pressure down on top of your power supply to hold it in place. We also include a couple strips of dual lock. So once you have your power supply lined up, you can lay the dual lock across here and that helps lock the power supply in place. That plus the clamping pressure of the plate here keeps it from wanting to slide around or anything. So as you can see, you got plenty of room inside. Mount whatever power supply you want to use. You can see that the bottom of the board is also beautiful bamboo plywood. These feet are permanently mounted. When you're putting it back together, boom, slides right into place. Put your wheels back on, and your feet. Notice here we also have a easy grip handle. So if you're walking across the stage with your board before or after the show, it's really easy to grab, take it, put it back in a skig bag, and you're ready for the next show. So we got these really strong and lightweight materials to begin with and that look awesome. We just love the look of this bamboo. Well, this one we call Sea Mist. It's kind of a turquoise look. We also have, of course, the beautiful natural color of the bamboo. Got an example right up here. And they all have a, most of these have like a translucent finish, right? You can see the wood That's grain. That's right, yeah. We haven't been painting anything. We, we really love the look of the bamboo so much, so we're letting the grain show through. That's awesome. Uh, we do some other colors. We do a color called driftwood which is a really like just nice, it looks like driftwood. That's why we called it that. <laughs> um, we've got red, a few different shades of black. You know, we're in San Diego, we like the beach team <laughs> names. So that's where we are right now. 
Okay, so layout, you have this raised section up here, you have down here, which is gonna be a lower section. What's the section on the right for? The section on the right, this is what we call the rocker section. So rocker meaning like a wah pedal or a volume pedal that you rock on. Some guys don't use a pedal like that and they'll just put regular stomp pedals from front to back. Um, one of the other really cool features of our board that I think makes it really ergonomic as a player is for me, it was always important to have your front row of pedals as low to the ground as possible. So you're not goose stepping up to step on a pedal. So with our design, we're really low to the ground. We have our second layer, which is only as high as it needs to be. Um, and it's slightly angled so that it's easy to reach up and click your pedals. When I'm setting up a board, the ones I'm clicking the most are usually down on the bottom. Ones I'm not hitting very much, I put up top, put a tuner up top. This design is just so ergonomic. You know, we didn't want to just create another wedge design like so many other companies are making that start off you know, really high in the front and um, don't really give you that, that sleek down on the ground front row of pedals like this does. Yes. We have a couple different pedal board sizes available. This is a 21, it's called a Z21 because it's 21 inches across. And we offer a 16 inch version, which is basically this board without the flat panel rocker section. So it would stop right here. So if you don't need that extra room, we've got the Z16. There you go. Okay, so you just saw our Z board and we wanted to show you also the Z box, which is basically the exact same pedal board, but with its own lid. It's, it's like having the own case built into the pedal board, right? So if you need that feature, check it out. We just got a couple latches over here. I'll do those. The whole lid comes off, you set it out out of the way. You got your whole pedal board. At the end of the gig, put your lid back on, latch it up, it's off to the truck. <laughs> well, thanks for showing us these sweet pedal boards. Thanks for sharing uh, the workshop with us, Glenn. Yeah, John, great to have you out here, man. Really appreciate you coming by and taking some, some film over pedal boards and sharing it with your your friends and followers. I've been using one of these pedal boards for the last two months and I can say that they are so well designed. I am wildly happy with mine. So make sure and check out the Reverb store and let me know if you have any other suggestions for cool products to check out.